Okay, RBT competency assessment where you're going to cover shaping. So if I were to say what is shaping, you would say reinforcing approximations of a behavior. If it's too technical, you could say it a different way, like setting a final behavior goal and reinforcing the steps to that behavior. So if I wanted you to give me examples, a common example is teaching words. So if you're teaching the word bubble, each time your client says buh, you would reinforce. And you would continue doing that until they learn buh. But eventually, you would want them to say more of the word. So next time, you might not reinforce until they say bub. And now, when they say bub, they receive reinforcement, but they don't for saying just buh. So now they're saying bub, reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. Okay, now you want them to finish the word. So now they're only saying, they're only receiving reinforcement when they say bubble. So every time they say bubble, now they get reinforcement. Thus you have shaped from buh to bub to bubble. Another example, uh, maybe more classroom based, would be completing five math problems. Let's say your client or student doesn't even want to start the worksheet. So you might set the goal of five math problems on a worksheet. Uh, your first goal would be writing his name. So you would reinforce writing name on worksheet. Reinforce, reinforce. Now you want to move further. So now you reinforce writing name plus two problems. So now they only receive reinforcement when they write their names and complete two problems. Now you want them to complete four. So write name, four problems, reinforce. Now you want them to complete all five. So what, what do you reinforce? Writing name, completing problems one through five, and nothing else receives reinforcement. So what have you shaped? Completing five problems. How did you start? Writing name, writing name and two problems, writing name and four problems, writing name and all the problems. Uh, and that is shaping.